our picture of the week at the top of the show notes is kind of fun. Uh, although IPv6 is now celebrating its 20th anniversary. Wow. And um, Vince Cerf, who was like one of the guys really lobbying hard for this for the last 20 years, he's now at Google, by the way. Yeah, and I mean, you know, these guys were right to do to realize that wow you know we thought that 32 bits oh my god that's 4.3 billion ips we will never need more than that anyway that was like the 640k ram ceiling oh it'll like, never oh, need more ram you know, than that the apple II had 64k we're gonna make the ibm pc we're gonna give it 640k 10 times as much we'll never need more than that well so it, it is probably safe to say, certainly in our lifetimes, Leo, we will not need more than 128 bits of IP, which IPv6 gives us. That's a big jump. From, from 32 bits to 128 bits is a big that, jump. Yeah. Again, it, it, it's, it's difficult for our human brains to wrap ourselves around the idea that every bit we add doubles the number. So because 128 doesn't seem like, you know, it's only 96 more than 32. And it's like, yeah, okay, that's only four times more bits. But, oh, boy, um, yeah, it's two to the 96 times. It's two to the 96 internets, essentially. <laughs> it's two, enough two IP address for every grain of sand, <laughs> every molecule. Well, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, so much so. So much so that ISPs are just giving it their individual single subscribers a you know a a, a block of of sixty four k IPs. It's like here you go. This ought to be enough for your light bulbs. Anyway, so this chart at the, on the first page, the the picture of the week is Google's measurement of IPv six adoption. If you squint, um, that looks it looks pretty good. Well, yes, this is, however, like a so here's the, this is the most recent 10 years. So for the first 10 years, it was flatline. It was like, you know, it was, you, you have to have another one of these charts over to the left that just shows nothing. Um, so, and, and the, 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 the bridging technologies that w existed briefly, you can see a little red line that kind of was making an effort, then it kind of faded out. Uh, that that was the IPv4, IPv6 uh, bridging stuff. But now, I mean, it's doing a nice, it's not quite exponential because it ought to be accelerating more if it were. We got, we're got we still showing some reluctance. So it's sort of a straight line with, with, with an exponential liftoff. Um, but the, the point is Google is measuring the... Uh, what 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 they do is some small fraction of Google visitors get a little bit of extra JavaScript added to see if they're able to directly access IPv6 resources, which would indicate that they have a local IPv6 stack operating in in their system. So this is a way for Google to sort of salt their you know their followers their users uh with little probes and that's how this chart is is has been developed what's significant is that and i don't know how on what side of this you would stand but we are now at 10 percent. that's what i mean so, by if you squint the curve looks uh, positive but the top <laughs> is only 10 percent. yeah and in fact one of my own personal pet peeves is is graphs that are not zero based. Now this is, but it's not a. It, but they didn't set the top to a hundred. If they set the top to a hundred percent, you know why they didn't? <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah. stupid. And, and 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 it's it's you know it's like one of the ways of lying with yeah. charts yeah. is you use non-zero based. People do that you know, all the time. It's uh, terrible. Uh, scales, yeah. and it, it completely artificially inflates the differences between things, which, you know, just sort of always seems like a, like, like, like a cheat to me. But anyway, in this case, uh, the shape is nice and the, the timing is nice. It sort of began to happen um, five years ago at the beginning of 2011, and uh, 2012 was maybe about twice that, 2013, a little more than twice 2012, 
2014, it's, it's accelerating. So about two and a half times and, and so on. And clearly this is where we're headed. No one expects this is going to stall out or anything. Uh, but it'll be fun to see over time what the shape of this is. If it does, in fact, begin to sort of flatten as old, you know, as there are people holding out, keeping their IPv4 uh, because it works, and, and not feeling the need to move. Um, and as we know, there are countries, this is probably, it'd be interesting also to see a geographic distribution. Actually, there was one on the page that I got this from, but the map that showed the geography didn't have a key. They had like red zones and green zones, but and I looked, it's like, okay, what, are the, what, what do those colors mean? And there was nothing shown. I didn't dig down too deeply. Our friend Simon Zarafa uh, sent the link to me. Uh, that I found this, but I'm sure what we would see is is not ge a huge amount of geographic non uniformity where countries that are oh there it is that's the chart now does that show anything can you see what yeah, red green, and green green is uh, ah. the darker the green the greater the deployment uh, orange which is a little too close to red for my taste but orange is where I'm sure the Google engineers are colorblind. Orange is where IPv6 is more widely deployed, but users still experience significant reliability or latency issues connected to the IPv6 websites. And regions where IPv6 is not widely deployed and unreliable is bright red. So the <laughs> then there's some pink. I don't know what the pink means. But, it, but it's so, apparently so the US, U.S. is strongest in this. Yeah. As well as Portugal, uh, which has a twenty whopping 24% uh, adoption for IPv6. That's almost as much oh. as, as the U.S. Greece, where uh, apparently the drachma is strong because it's got 20%. Uh, Belgium, 44%. That's the wow. EU talking, right? And uh, Switzerland, which is 30%. The U.K. is a woeful 2.96%. I'm sorry, U.K. But so Canada is 7.4%. Brazil 6.5%. Ecuador... Bad news in the latency. See, 40 millisecond latency, 0% adoption in Botswana, and 40 millisecond latency. So there you go. Botswana is the worst. So don't go there for your V6.